let's discuss duck volumes what is it why should we use it and how to use it containers are designed to be immutable means read only after container is deployed whatever data generated on container file system is temporary it is tightly coupled with container life cycle which means it is created when container is created and deleted when container is deleted suppose we want to run database on the container after database is deployed application starts persisting data onto this database it might be inserting customer information so on and so forth for any reasons if this container gets crashed all customer data is lost certainly this is not the behavior we expect for database applications running on container we want to persist the information even if container gets crashed that's why docker volume is the option to persist database data even after container gets crashed volume is nothing but a piece of folder on docker host file system which is mounted onto the container which means we can mount database path on the container to the host folder so that volumes are independent of docker containers life cycle means they exist even after container get crashed now let me show this behavior as a demo later i will explain other use cases of using docker volumes you can try this demo on any docker host i have docker desktop installed on my local computer it is up and running so let's create a container using alpine image I am giving name to the container. I am using Alpine latest image to create this container. Now let's see the status of Alpine container. Docker PS. It's up and running. Let's get into this container and let's create a temp file on this container. Docker exit hyphen it name of the container and ash now we are inside the container I created info.txt with some information. Let's cat this file and see the information. This file is created after container is deployed. Remember that. Let's come out of this container. For any reasons, this container gets crashed. To simulate that, let's delete this container. What happened to the data? It's also gone. This is a problem. Now let's repeat same example using volumes. Even before using volumes, let me try creating new container and check if that info.txt file exists. It won't be there because it's gone, correct? exit from this container remove this container now repeat same example 
using volume. First, I want to create a volume. The volume name is JHC. I told you volume is a folder on the host file system. In order to know what is the path of this volume on the host, let's run inspect command. Docker volume inspect command provides details about the location of this volume on Docker host. So whatever data I want to persist inside Docker container, I mount that folder to this volume so that data gets stored on the host. This data gets persisted even if container gets crashed. Let's go ahead and run new Alpine container. See this, we are using hyphen V. This is for volume. Name of the volume, which is in my local host, colon, the folder inside container we want to persist. Let's say there is a data folder inside container. Data in this folder I want to persist inside JHC volume. Space Alpine. Let's go inside this container. Let's go inside data folder. Let's create a dummy file. Now, come out of the container. Remember, data inside this data folder is getting stored on the volume on Docker host, not inside the container. If you want to see this information, you can go to the path of the volume and do ls, you'll find it. Because I am using Docker host, this volume is not directly created on my file system. Because it's my MacBook, there is one uh, virtual machine created in the background and on that virtual machine entire docker stuff is running so that's the reason if you are using docker desktop open that docker desktop click on volumes go to that volume name jhc and see this information info.txt right so let's do one thing go ahead and delete docker container still this info.txt will be persisted. Let's delete this. We deleted only the container, but not the data. Volumes are independent of Docker lifecycle. Now, if I want to bring up a new container with its previous state, what we have to do is we are running new container by pointing back to volume run let's get inside the container go inside data and it is there if you want to persist any information on container, even after container gets terminated, use volumes. And coming to use cases of volume, if you want to run stateful applications like databases, because it stores data in its local, that's why we are calling it stateful. Jenkins, that's also stateful application. After Jenkins is deployed, the jobs we create 
the configurations we make, the plugins we install, everything gets stored in local, right? For such stateful applications, we must use Docker volumes. Another use case of Docker volume is, let's say there are two containers running on same host and they want to share data. Create two containers, mount these two containers onto same volume. Through volume, the data can be shared between containers. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.